Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to fix the error message hmm, can't reach this page, localhost refused to connect on Jenkins. Sometimes you try to run your Jenkins application and you get a web page that shows that you cannot reach the Jenkins installation. You can't even log in. What that means is easy to understand and the problem can easily be solved. Jenkins is a server. So for you to be able to reach your instance of Jenkins, the server needs to be up and running. The Jenkins server is like any other server. For you to be able to access your instance of Jenkins, it needs to be up and running. And we are going to do that in this tutorial. Your page may look like this sometimes when you try to access Jenkins. Here, when I type in localhost colon 8080 and hit enter, I will get this message, hmm, can't reach this page. And here are some suggestions. You don't really need to worry about these suggestions too much. In most cases, this message is appearing because the Jenkins server is not up and running. So, for us to fix this error message, we need to start Jenkins. Jenkins needs to be up and running so that we'll be able to log in. For us to start Jenkins, we need to navigate to where it was installed on our computer. We will copy the path there, then open the command prompt and navigate to that folder path, then start Jenkins from there. To do that, let's go to where Jenkins was installed in on our computer. Now, I will navigate to where Jenkins is installed on my computer. It is on the C drive and I will copy the path. To do that, I will go to the file explorer, click on the C drive. Now look for program files. Now look for Jenkins, and this is where Jenkins is installed on my computer. The Jenkins.war file is here. So I will copy the path, copy the full path, and now let's open the command prompt as administrator. Type in here CMD, run as administrator. Okay, now type in CD, paste what you've just copied has changed directory to this part. We hit enter. Now we are going to enter the command for the default Jenkins settings. That will be Java space hyphen ja space Jenkins dot war. I will paste this command in the description area for this video what we have actually typed in here is this this jenkins war file is what we are actually navigating to this jenkins dot war file is what we are actually trying to run here now when we run this command it's going to start the jenkins default settings which is for port 8080 it could also be for any port you have set it to. Now hit enter. Now the Jenkins server is starting. Great. Let me maximize this. Great. Here now it says Jenkins is fully up and running. Here at the bottom, it says Jenkins is fully up and running. I am going to minimize this. Don't close it. Just minimize it. And now let's go back to our web page or localhost. Refresh it. Great. Now the welcome to Jenkins page has opened. We can now log in. I'm going to log in.
Great. Now I have logged in successfully. So because the Jenkins server is up and running now, that is why I have been able to log in. Let me go back to the same uh, command prompt, cmd. Now I am going to stop the Jenkins server. I'll press Ctrl plus C. Now I have stopped the Jenkins server. I have shut it down. Let's go and refresh our page again. Here, if I refresh it, exactly, I get this error message again. Can't reach this page. That means our Jenkins server is not running. And if I do the same thing again, like we just did, it will be up and running again. One more time. Java space half jar space jenkins dot war hit enter it is restarting the jenkins server and here it says again jenkins is fully up and running let's go back to our web browser to refresh it and now it's up and running again and i can log in Great. Once again, I have signed in successfully. So in this tutorial, I have showed you how to start the Jenkins server from the command prompt. And once the Jenkins server is up and running, you will be able to log in. And that error message, localhost refused to connect, will go away. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye for now.